Good evening and thank you for joining us. Election day is 57 days away. This morning, people were out at Lake Fort Phantom campaigning for the re-election of President Donald Trump. K-Texas reporter Nick Bradshaw has this story. This is 2020 and might not be a far cry from that first Labor Day in the late 1800s. Protest on the streets, people asking for fairness, and America the beautiful divided. Now here we are in the middle of a pandemic, high unemployment, and a campaign season. Life is a bit choppy. Moved uh, to Odessa of all places when I was five years old. Meet Ron family. Smith, fisherman and by I trade, originally country. from Canada. He flies his Trump 2020 flag with pride out at Lake Fort Phantom. Lower taxes, small government, and uh, right to life, and uh, just, I love what he does. Ron and his wife Linda joined the Trump boat parade on this Labor Day weekend. Linda was once a Democrat, but now it's all Trump. Everybody needs to really realize that um, a lot is at stake. My concern for Joe Biden is uh, I, I think he's about two fries short of a Happy Meal. As we make our way across Lake Fort Phantom, the Dallas Morning News reporting a new poll shows Texas remains close for the 2020 campaign. Send in your early ballot and then go and make sure that ballot is tabulated or counted. And if it's not counted, vote. The words of a president matter. Even a lousy president. Sometimes I'm not crazy about what he says, but I love him. I love what he does. That's what matters. Labor Day, a day for America's workers, some time on the lake, and most of all, an understanding we don't have to be divided. You don't have the knowledge, you shouldn't go vote. I mean, I think there's too many people who just have the one side and they won't look at the other, whether, you know, it's Democrat or Republican, and I think that's, that's the American way. The last unofficial day of summer. Put burgers on the grill and all those wonderful things that make this country so special. As America speeds off to November 3rd. Nick Bradshaw, KTexas News.